The view menu is where we're going to set up much of the look of our main work area. This is another area that you'll be accessing extensively through shortcuts. This menu will allow you to zoom into your work, change screen modes, and control which extras are shown. When we discussed the image menu, we talked about the RGB image mode and the CMYK image mode. This first section of the view menu is devoted to setting up your image for a printing press. As I mentioned previously, some colors do not translate from the other image modes into CMYK mode directly, and this section will help you to prepare your work for print. We'll be covering the uses of this area of the menu in a more advanced tutorial. For now, we're going to focus on the universal sections of the view menu. Right below the proofing section is the zoom section. Here you can zoom in and out, fit your image on the screen, view the actual pixels, and view your image in print resolution. The three main keyboard shortcuts that you're going to be using are zoom in, which is control plus on PC and command plus on Mac, zoom out, or control minus and command minus on Mac, and fit on screen, which is control or command zero. Fit on screen maximizes your image inside the allotted space. The next section is for screen mode. This option is one of the most useful functions that you're going to come across. By using the keyboard shortcut F, you can cycle between standard mode, full screen mode with the menu bar, and full screen mode without the menu bar. I find that I use these modes most often when illustrating. Here I can see my work against a black background without all the clutter of the Photoshop interface. There are many different indicators that Photoshop makes available to us when doing precision work. Things like rulers, layer edges, guides, slice tools, paths, and numbers. The visibility of all of these options is controlled through the Show submenu. Here we can simply select the options that we'd like to view. In that same family, right below the Extras menu, we find the Rulers toggle. This will turn on or off the rulers, which is also how we access the guides. Simply click in the ruler area and drag out a guide. Release the mouse when your guide is positioned properly. We can also move these guides around at a later time, or remove them by dragging them back up into the ruler. In the view menu, we can lock or clear the guides, and we can also create a new guide. If snapping is turned on, whenever our mouse gets close to a guide or one of the other items that we set, it will automatically position itself on the item. We turn snapping on by checking the snap option, which is right below the rulers in the view menu. Or we can hit Control shift semicolon on PC, or Command shift semicolon on Mac. We can select the items that we'd like to snap to in the submenu right below that. Slices are used in web design. They help designers cut up images for use in websites. In the view menu, we can lock or clear them. That's it for the view menu. Next, we'll be taking a look at the Windows menu. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you may have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.